Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today, I'm out at the generator shack here, which uh, isn't done because I've been uh, putting it off, you know. Gotta procrastinate, but anyways, need to service out the MEP. Uh, I'm not gonna change the fuel filters right now because they're fairly new anyways, but I need to change the oil in it. And I've been wanting to upgrade this to get rid of the canister style filter and go with a spin-on. Uh, they're a lot easier to get. Uh, can go to any parts house and get the filter that fits it. So uh, we're gonna try and use this Timco adapter. I believe they're the only ones that make them, but uh, I've been waiting for one of these for over a year now. And I finally just contacted them. I reached out to them and they said they had plenty of them in stock, but the uh, they were getting complaints about the O-ring that they had for it not fitting properly so i uh asked them if they'd go on and send me one anyways and uh they agreed so we're gonna try it out we'll see if the o-ring fits if it doesn't i have a factory mep uh canister cartridge and the o-ring the factory o-ring in this box here which uh should get us in business but uh, anyways i'm gonna fire this thing up let the oil warm up let it run for a little bit and uh we'll go on and service it out stuff routed outside yet like i said i've been putting it off but uh definitely is going to make a difference once it's fully finished insulated out it'll be nice but uh we're gonna let this run yeah heck of a noise difference we're gonna let this run for probably 15 20 minutes let it get up to temperature we'll uh drain the oil out and see what we got to work with as far as that filter adapter goes good and up the temperature air vents are open it is rather toasty in there and uh smoky so we're gonna let this uh clear out a little bit and uh we're gonna go on and get this oil drained out while it's nice and hot This oil doesn't have a whole lot of runtime on it, probably 20, 30 hours or so. Um, so it's it's pretty clean, but uh, it's been two years since we mounted this and since I serviced it out. So I want to go on and service it out again and uh, clean everything up and uh, get this fil filter canister swapped over. Hopefully we can uh, make that happen today. We got our oil drained out, went on and dumped this out. Now I'm gonna pull the drain plug on the bottom of our filter canister, gonna get it drained out so we can get this canister off. We 
we got our filter out the filter housings clean filters clean nothing uh, nothing crazy as you can see this thing's spotless under the filter this thing's hardly got any hours on it so I'm gonna go on and get this o-ring fished out and uh, see if this o-ring that came with this uh, adapter will fit if it won't I will use the o-ring that comes with the factory filter and uh, work that back into the groove and then lock down our uh, filter adapter and see how that works so here's the issue with the o-ring that they were talking about and uh, the o-ring is just a little too thick it is the right diameter as you can see but it's a noticeable thickness difference and it doesn't quite fit down in the groove you could probably force it in there but i don't think i'm going to risk it i'm going to uh pull the factory o-ring out of the sealed filter set that i've got for this go on and use that and see if it will work with this adapter piece so coated the uh new factory o-ring with oil and went on slid it right into place no problem there I'll see if the adapter should fit in here. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. We'll uh, we'll give it a shot. We'll go on and put the threaded adapter in and uh, torque it down and see how it works out. I'm gonna clean this off really well though before I uh, bolt it up the final time. Got our adapter in place, everything torqued down. We're gonna spin on a Wix 51515. Good filter, really easy to find, fairly cheap. Uh, still made in the USA for now. So I'm gonna go and oil this O-ring up and see how it fits. Hopefully it fits like it should, but uh, we will see. Go and pre-oil that O-ring. fits just fine spun right on o-ring seated so uh yeah we'll go on uh, hook this hose back up and uh get it filled up with oil just picked up three five gallon jugs of uh, t5 15w40 at the, the local tsc it's on sale for 59 bucks so couldn't hardly pass it up so uh yeah we're gonna run that in this get it filled up let it build oil pressure and check everything for leaks Well, we had a little visitor come up while we're out here uh, working on the generator. I think I'll uh, leave him be. I'm gonna go on and shoo him back in through the woods, maybe. Got the oil filled up. Going to go on and spin it over and uh, let it build oil pressure, let it fire, let it run for just a little bit and check it over for leaks. Then uh, I'm sure that filter is gonna take a little bit of oil so we'll shut it down top it off and uh, fire back up and let it run for a bit. Make sure we don't have any issues. on and uh, check the oil and uh, top it off and uh, yeah then we'll fire it back up and let it run for a bit got our oil topped up I'm gonna wipe everything off real good and We'll uh, fire it up and let it run for a bit. Check it over for leaks. We'll come back with a paint marker, mark the hours and the date on the filter. That way uh, I can keep track of the last time it was serviced. But we should be good. And yes, this is a uh, 530 jug. But uh, I keep these around because they're handy for uh, when I need to transfer from these bigger five gallon pails. These seem to pour easy and plastic's good. So uh, 
they don't tear up real easy but uh anyways eventually i'll get one of those handy drum pumps but uh, or bucket pumps but i don't have one right now i uh used to but broke it but anyways let's go on and fire it back up As you can see, once it warmed up, oil pressure settled in around 40 pounds. We've got no leaks, no drips, nothing showing up down there. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. But, uh, yeah, that should make this thing a little easier to service, easier to get uh, filters for, so on and so forth. Which uh, I'd already shown how I did the spin on conversion for the fuel filters. But uh, if you all want to see that set up and uh, how I did it, part numbers on that, stuff like that, just uh, let me know in the comments section. I can put a video together on it if you want. But uh, yeah, now I just need to get around to finishing this out, uh, running the exhaust out of the building, and uh, doing air inlets and air outlets, stuff like that on it. That's all coming, though. So uh, I'm going to wrap this up here. If uh, you got any comments, questions, complaints, drop them in the comments section below. If uh, you'd like to support the channel, I've got a PayPal account set up. Link to that is in the description of the video. Uh, if you would, hit that like button. It uh, helps us out quite a bit. It doesn't cost you anything. But uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe. We appreciate you watching.